So I can't believe this. I'm getting ready to go to the US for CitizenCon this year, and CIG drops a huge bomb for Star Citizen, a brand new event that's gonna last for the next 10 days where you can loot an F8C Lightning, arguably the best fighter in the game, and definitely the rarest next to the F7A, of which there is only one owner. So when I say rare, I'm talking like a thousand maybe who own the F8C out of over 4.8 million citizens. All right, since I need to rush to the airport in like three hours, I'm gonna be as concise as possible with this event so you know how you can get your hands on one for yourself. So in the next 10 days, you'll be able to loot one of two types of licenses. The first one is the gold license. The gold license unlocks the ability for players who found it to purchase the ship from the website after successfully returning it to any location that has a rental kiosk and renting the F8C for a 24 hour period. Following that, you'll get an email from CIG showing you where you can purchase the ship. And from what I'm told, it's 260 on Warbond, which is without any store credit and 300 bucks if you're using store credit. So not a cheap ship, but it's a pretty cool and rare opportunity. The golden ticket is reportedly lootable at any location that has a first person mission. So you can find them at bunker missions, Korea, the platform missions, or even at crashed wrecks. So you can look pretty much anywhere for this right now. And from what I'm being told, it's actually pretty common. Quite a few people in my community have already found one and are posting pictures of them returning to rent and pick one up for themselves. However, you should be warned that this is a physical object and it can be looted from you, so if you do pick one up, don't tell anybody until you get back to a station and get your ship, otherwise you might lose it. And also remember that in 3.20, the current version of the game, you can't combat log. So if you log off after you've been engaged, your body and ship will remain and you'll be killed and looted anyway, so make sure you don't do that. The next one is the Platinum License, and this one gives you the ship completely free. No need to purchase anything on the website, but there's a big catch. This license can't be looted from any loot box. Instead, it's only looted by defeating a CIG developer flying around in-game, presumably in an F8C themselves. Should the dev be flying around in your server, you'll be able to quickly spot them via the in-game map system where you'll see a marker for their location. They'll probably also be teasing you in local chat, so keep your eye open there. But everyone else in the server is also going to have this marker, so it's going to be a fight to secure it. And even after you secure it, that marker, it doesn't go away. Not until you go and redeem your ship at either Astro Armada at Area 18, the New Deal in Lorville, or the Crusader Showroom in Orison. But that's not all. You'll also get a unique platinum skin to show off that you've earned this through blood, sweat, and tears, and you'll also get lifetime insurance. So your ship is going to be unique from any other F8C out there with that special skin. Of course, if you already own the F8C thanks to being Wing Commander or Praetorian level concierge, that's 10,000 and 15,000 US dollar backers, you'll already have an F8C in your hangar. If you are a Praetorian level member, you'll also have two because one will be the unique executive edition that has its own unique interior. However, if you've not spent an unreasonable amount of money on Star Citizen and you're not able to participate in this event for whatever reason, don't worry, the original plan for this ship still holds true. After you complete the single player campaign of Squadron 42, you'll be able to unlock it to purchase it for yourself at that point. Whenever that point might be. Hopefully at the end of next year, but I suppose we might find out at CitizenCon when it might be. Now personally, I think this is one of the best events that CIG has ever run. There are actual stakes in this event that are going to cause some really fun interactions between players, probably a little bit of toxicity that's always going to happen when there's a lootable item that anybody can have, but I think it's also really cool to see that they're offering something unique to players if they capture it over things that are bought. That unique skin is something that whoever wins is going to be able to show off to their friends forever. Now in terms of when those developers are going to show up and how many tickets are eventually going to be given out, we don't know that information. We're just going to have to find out over the course of the next 10 days as people post that they've won them. If you have won one though, please let me know by tagging me on Twitter. You can follow me at Morphologist or let me know in my community section in my Discord. So. Yeah, head on over to the uh, description down below and you'll be able to find the link there. 
But I have to get ready now to go to Citizen Con. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have fun in this event. Happy anniversary for Star Citizen. That's why they're doing this event. I cannot wait to see you guys at Citizen Con. And remember, if you do find me and you're part of the Armco community, I've got six sweaters and like 50 pins to give away. So please come find me and you'll get yourself some free loot if you are part of my community. That's all for now. See you guys after I get back.